Hello from Idaho. I strive to provide interesting videos about motorcycles, fabrication, welding, electronics, machining, and general creativity. I hope you enjoy. So what should you be carrying in your toolbox for your off-road vehicle? Well, I have no idea, but here's what I carry. I've got uh, big channel locks, medium-sized channel locks, small channel locks, big and small pliers, three pairs of vice grips. I've got uh, two sets of straight needle nose, a set of curved needle nose, a wire stripper, a pair of side cutters, and a small pair of uh, electrical cutters. <clears throat> I carry a hacksaw. But I can't leave the blade in it, otherwise it doesn't go in my toolbox. So I carry a hacksaw with some blades. I also carry a lock, big hammer, uh, four sizes, five sizes of crescent wrench, a uh, spider co, and a uh, box cutter. I've got uh, a little box of fuses, a tape measure, some really big wire ties, three sizes of spark plug wrench. Even though my vehicle only takes one of those, I often find myself working on other people's stuff. I usually have a set of metric and a set of American 3 8 inch sockets. I just realized I lent my 3 8 metric out. I better get those back. I have a uh, American and uh, metric end wrenches. My Jeep is a mix of both and my Chevy was a mix of both. I think most vehicles unless you buy them from Japan or uh, overseas someplace are probably a mix of both. I have some uh, um, nut drivers and some small wire ties. You all know that you can take four wire ties and put them together and make a big one. I, I carry a magnet. I carry duct tape, a whole bunch of hose clamps, uh, thick wire and thin wire. I have uh, a wide assortment of screwdrivers and a headlight adjustment tool and an ice pick. I've got uh, well, I'm having a brain fart uh, what these things are. Anyway, they're the, the uh, star type uh, Allens. And then I carry uh, four or so grease rags. And so far, I've been able to get myself out, myself or my buddies, out of their mechanical problems with this stuff. Now, it's kind of heavy. I was carrying it in this big bag here, which is a great bag to carry it in. But it sucks when you're out on the trail because you got to get everything out of it. And lay it on something in order to get to whatever's on the bottom and guaranteed whatever wrench I want is on the bottom. So I am attempting to put all this stuff in a rhino bag. And it's got uh, one, two, three, four, five of these little bags that are uh, pretty spacious. Now they have labels on them. I don't know if I'll use those or not. And then there's this kind of a pocket thing, which is not removable. These pieces actually come off and go wherever you want them to. So you don't need to take the whole thing if you don't want to. And you don't need to have to open it up, all of the little pieces, and lay it out on the ground if you don't want to. And so I'm pretty excited about that. 
I've already decided that if all my stuff doesn't fit in here, that I'm going to buy another one. I like this concept of a tool bag. It's uh, It rolls up. It's got uh, uh, clasps on it to close it. It's got another zipper pocket out here. A handle comes with an uh, over-the-shoulder strap. So anyway, I'm going to try to get my stuff in here. Let's start out with the sockets one. Sockets. Okay, that one's kind of empty. Wrenches. I'd ideally like to have my metric and my American separated. But, uh, that may be a luxury I can't afford. If it turns out that I end up needing two of these, well, then I'll put metric in one and, and, uh, and uh, Imperial in the other. So this says pliers. So I have lots of pliers. I hope my big ones fit in there. No, they do not. Okay, they'll be, they'll be rolled up in the bag. Pliers and vice grips. This one's going to be pretty full. Okay, I tend to like that. Miscellaneous, I guess, is going to be screwdrivers. Yeah, more socket stuff. Let me put my knives up here. Okay, so I have three things that don't fit. My big channel locks, a hacksaw, my hammer. But other than that, I got everything put away. I think I'm going to take these out of the package. And put them in my sockets bucket. And specialty. Put my rags in there. Okay. So there's a lot of companies that make make companies that make tool bags. And uh, I just happened to find this one on Rhino. They've uh, they've made some stuff that I really like. And so uh, I thought I'd try them. It's not going to be any smaller than my or it's not going to be very much smaller than my dedicated tool bag but I like the fact that this is compartmentalized and I don't have to take it all out and throw it on the ground in order to find a seven millimeter wrench so anyway here's what we have it's going in my Jeep as soon as I stop this video and I'm pretty happy with it we'll see how it uh, we'll see how it works out hopefully I won't need to use it on my Jeep but I do like to have it in case someone needs it. Thanks for watching and goodbye from Idaho.
As usual, if you like or dislike my video, please select the appropriate button and let me know why. I really appreciate comments and I will answer every one. If you're new to my videos, please select the subscribe and the notification bell to get more videos like this.